I today had a message on my Universal Credit account. So, I recently did a post about how I knew I'd messed up my Universal Credit claim and I've been declaring my savings interest as income and I shouldn't have been. So I asked if I could claim it back. Yes. I need to book a meeting, bring every scrap of paperwork to prove your income for the first time in almost a year. Ridiculous. And they booked me in for the 16th of July, having moved me, I think maybe twice. And now I've had a message back to say, we've changed your meeting again. And now it's going to be a phone call at four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. So, if you want me to present all my paperwork for nine months worth of universal credit claims, what do you want me to do? Shove it down the phone line at you? So I'm going to ask them, because I knew this would happen. I've been really organised, of course, and I have... organised all my paperwork for all my accounts to give to them, some of it as originals, some of it as um, things that they need to photocopy, so they can have that for their record to make a decision. And now they've turned it into a phone call, so I need to know from them how they want to get this paperwork from me then, if they've just decided it's a phone call. You know what's going to happen, don't you? They're going to string this out as long as possible and then tell me I can't claim. Or they're just going to say they don't care and how much money do you want? <laughs> One or the other. So I shall confirm tomorrow I can do the phone call and then ask them, how do you want me to get the paperwork to you? Although the phone call might just be to say, sorry, you can't have any money back. I mean, I don't know. System's a joke. And most of the problem is that the system has just been made so complicated that it's almost impossible to navigate for not only users like me, but also the people that run it. Because... No one can keep a track of the of the paper trail. They talk about fraud in universal credit and people claiming illegally and all this sort of thing. And yet every month when I put my claims in, they base every number on me being honest. They ask for absolutely no evidence of my earnings or my expenses. And then when something happens like this, they want evidence of it all. So if I had not needed to claim back that interest that I've wrongly declared as an honest mistake, would they have ever asked for proof of my monthly claims for a whole year? The system is so full of holes and so designed to be screwed over and so designed for fraud, it's amazing anyone gets a proper claim in at all. And if you're not good with paperwork or numbers and you can't do spreadsheets and you can't keep track for whatever reason, you're absolutely screwed because the system has no idea what it's doing. Anyway, so that's that update. So I dropped a quick line to Universal Credit this morning through the journal. Um, just to ask them about, so how do I give you receipts if I'm doing this by phone? And they came straight back to me and said, oh yeah, we'd forgotten about that. So had I not chased them up, I would have had a, a phone interview and then they wouldn't have known what to do. So this is why you need to chase them up every time because they have no idea what they're doing. When they rebook your appointment, they have to, like, they just jiggle it around because it doesn't fit their schedule. They don't check to see why you were supposed to be seeing them face-to-face -face in the first place. 
Um, I think I've had my appointment changed three or four times now. I've pretty much lost track. I'd have to go back and look at the journal. Um, and now they've moved it on to, it's now the 26th of July. So I'm now just, I think, three weeks, two and a half weeks away from when my claim is likely to end because um, my claim is up in the middle of August. So I need to push them on this because I can see them just saying, well, your claim's now ended, there's nothing we can do, your paperwork's ended. So <laughs> they're just so incompetent. I mean, all the time where I'm just putting in my amounts every month and not asking any questions and just taking the money when it comes, the system works and the three monthly interviews that are booked in just kind of work. But as soon as anything like this happens, the system can't cope. It's just been designed to be so complicated that, you know, for, for people who are claiming and then even for the staff, the staff can't manage the system because it's just too complicated. It's been designed by people who don't use it or run it um, people in offices who will never have to process a claim and for your work coaches who are kind of at the bottom of the pile in terms of the DWP staff I think um, they don't know what they're doing they're just disorganised they give these journals so that you can remain um, you know it's easy to follow the, the paper trail for people's claims and questions and things and they don't use it when they need to so anyway, so I'm now booked on the 26th of July and I'm sure that will change again. So I'm still trying to, uh, still trying to sort out this claim for my uh, interest. Uh, let this be a lesson to everybody. Do not make a mistake on your claim because you will probably never get your money back at this rate. Just bonkers. Unbelievable. A quick update. It's a few days on since that last video and they've moved my appointment again. Mm. This is the fifth time they have moved this appointment now and it's now gone from the 26th of July to the 6th of August. You can see where this is going to end up, can't you? This is absolutely ridiculous. I've never heard anything like it. So I'm still waiting to present all this evidence and you just know they're hoping I'm going to crack and say don't bother. This feels like it's a conspiracy now that they're doing whatever they can to try not to have this meeting. Um, that 6th of August is now only, so the 21st of August is when my claim ends you can just see that it's pushing on and pushing on and they're moving it around and moving it around. These people are an absolute joke. This is the fifth time for this one appointment. Unbelievable. I will keep you updated. Um, I'm going to assume this is going to change at least once more. Um, it's now the 8th of July and I'm recording this, so that means my next appointment is a, is a month away. There's plenty of time for them to mess this up even more. <sighs> it's good you I don't move, I don't work full time because it would be impossible, wouldn't it? You just couldn't do it.